y'all, lately I really have been on this spinach binge, and I don't know why. Like last week I made spinach dip. A couple of days ago I made cream spinach. And today, y'all, I threw together the most delicious spinach and mushroom quesadillas. And here's how I put it together. I set the stove to medium-high heat and then added a couple of tablespoons of avocado oil. Next, I added in um, some diced yellow onion, and I let those cook down for a few minutes before I added in some garlic powder. Then I mixed that around and let it cook for another couple of minutes. Um, next, I added in some arugula. And y'all, I was hungry, so I don't know exactly how much. I think just a handful. And then I added in a couple of handfuls of spinach. I mixed that around and let the greens cook down a bit so that I can add in my seasoning. I think I added about a tablespoon of complete seasoning. Um, and then I tasted it <clears throat> to see if I needed to add a little bit more. Um, so add all of your seasoning to taste. Do it to your taste and not mine. Um, I added in some cumin. And then I added in some chili powder. I folded everything over until everything was fully mixed and then I added in my sliced mushrooms after adding the mushrooms I think I let it cook for another two or three minutes um, and then I went ahead and set that aside next I added a tablespoon of salted butter to that same skillet I let that melt down then I grabbed my tortilla now you do whatever's best for you, but for me, I like my tortilla to be seared on both sides. So I made sure that side was fully greased and seared. And then I flipped it over and started to assemble my quesadilla. I started with a little bit of mozzarella cheese and then topped that with some sharp cheddar cheese. Then I went ahead and added my mushroom and spinach mixture to the top of that. Now make sure you spread out your mixture so that you get mushrooms and spinach in every bite. I finished it up by adding mozzarella and sharp cheddar cheese to the other side. And then I went ahead and flipped over the other half of the quesadilla. And at this point, all you have to do is just let the quesadilla just sit in the skillet. You want to press down around the edges so that the cheese can fully melt and hold the quesadilla together. And then you just plate it up, okay? So I went ahead and I topped mine off with any leftover spinach and mushrooms. And y'all, this was delicious. But I mean, you really should expect nothing less. Because I post the food that I always feel good going down your throat. Bye.